YouTube viewers, Rectangular back again, this time with another haul video. Now, as you can see here, we have the Marvel Select Doctor Doom with his base. I primarily wanted to get this for the base. Um, I do have the throne that comes with uh, Morpheus from the um, Matrix movie figure. Um, which I am using for my red skull, um, and I do have uh, some a couple of decent chairs that um, I could use for Doctor Doom, but um, they are still a little on the small side. So I wanted something big that he could fit into comfortably. Um, not not a huge fan of this figure per se, but um, I got a good deal um, on the whole package. The guy. Um, actually one of my um, subscribers on YouTube and uh, Facebook friends Connor uh, sold this to me and um, it's in pretty good condition it's got uh, a little bit of um, discoloration here which I can probably touch up with some paint um, and um, had to clean it up really well um, Connor must be a smoker so uh, um, he did smell or he, he still his cape still smells quite a bit like uh, cigarettes, um, but I don't plan to use this um, th that often. Um, the figure's not too bad. Um, it's pretty cool that he comes with that uh, goblet and a really nice pistol. I haven't tried to see if um, my Marvel Legends Doom can hold the pistol, um, but um, he can... Uh, wear the cape. It's a little bit, just a tad bit on the long side, but um, in order to get Doom in the throne, um, you need a cape that's uh, soft, pliable uh, material. So um, I'm going to show you just for real quick comparison. Here is the Doctor Doom uh, from Return of Marvel Legends. Uh, was that Series 3? So you know, he is uh, going to be a tad bit shorter than the Select Doom, and he doesn't stand real well. I have him on a um, stand, as you can see there. Um, and just wanted to show that you can, of course, remove the cape. Comes with him. And let's put the cape from the Select Doom on this guy which this is a pretty decent figure. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily have to go through all this. I just don't want him to be towering over um, other characters if I uh, have my legends. Um, and it's not all that articulated. I don't even know if I can get him to sit properly in... Yeah, you see, it's just not, not all that articulated so you can try that but more than likely he's just not gonna fit all that well so you're better off just using the select one you know the cape is bunching up doesn't work all that great so just that you can't get him in a good sitting pose. Um, these legs are just, you know, and maybe I just haven't monkeyed with the figure enough. Um, but uh, from what I can tell, it doesn't look like it's worth it. Probably better off just using the select Doom because he can sit down quite nicely. Get his arms up. Stick him in there. And, you know, obviously that's a quick, quick way of doing it, but um, it does work. And I'm going to show something else I picked up that uh, could possibly use it to go in conjunction with this.
So close to my office, I have a Goodwill store um, that I stop at um, every once in a while and uh, just go through the aisles, through the toy section, and see uh, what kind of stuff I can use for um, dioramas, displays, uh, props, that kind of stuff. And um, happened upon this um, little um, part of, it's about half of a uh, castle playset. Um, and it's a little small, it would uh, work well with um, probably Marvel Universe uh, figures, um, which I don't collect, unfortunately. But um, this, um, I think, will work well with Legends. Obviously, this is a Marvel Select, so it's a larger scale, so um, it's a little bit skewed um, against me. But um, I want to get some uh, foam material. Um, foam core and uh, just build a little base to stick it up on um, underneath and um, then I'll have a nice little backdrop for um, Doom's castle um, and might you know work well with uh, Hydra as well um, you know it's got this it's got a funny little um, shield thing that I'm going to uh, um, just cover up with a uh, piece of construction paper I'll cut out and uh, put in its place. Um, I could just paint over it as well, but um, I thought it'd be cool to use some construction paper and I can put uh, uh, either a Doom um, logo like that on it um, or a, a Hydra symbol and I can just swap it out um, depending on what kind of display I want to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next item. Next up, we've got three of my favorite figures, and one in particular that I've been looking for for quite a long time. Um, first off, we've got uh, Miss Marvel there on the left. Um, this makes the third Miss Marvel I have. Um, this one I got for a steal for um, only eight dollars from uh, eight dollars shipped. Um, from a guy on Facebook and um, yeah basically um, Solid Snake claims that we will be getting a, um, a Moonstone in one of the upcoming waves this year for Marvel Legends um, but they haven't officially said that uh, there's going to be a running change um, for Miss Marvel either in her um, regular costume like this or in her uh, Dark Avengers um, costume which would also be Moonstone so um, I'm anticipating being let down so I um, when I saw that she was only eight bucks I was like okay great I'm grabbing that because I do need uh, two regular Miss Marvels for a couple other displays I'm doing um, moving on we have the very hard to find and uh, can get quite pricey face-off cap with the mask. Uh, I have two face-off caps that are unmasked and I have a um, head that I was just going to repaint um, to make a masked cap which I still might end up doing. Um, but uh, this guy who um, lives overseas was selling off all of his legends and um, just happened to be online at the right time when he um, uh, was telling my friend Rick Dominguez about it and um, I instant messaged him immediately asking him if he had this guy and he did and I uh, got him for a great deal um, and uh, he's in really good condition he's only got a few minor paint issues which any figure of this age is going to have um, just a little bit of white um, there in the joints and the red um, down the boot area and the white on his uh, um, which that might even be from the factory the white on his uh, uh, wings on his helmet um, are a little could use some touching up but uh, otherwise his joints are in great shape the um, the handle on the shield was uh, was, um, was broken off um, but the the straps are intact and they work great and um, the star is a little bit discolored but uh, I have couple of other shields um, same scale so uh, 
no no worries for what I got for this guy so I was extremely happy to finally complete my legends my toy biz legends with this guy and finally we have the uh, astonishing Wolverine which I already got one of these from uh, Solid Snake but um, Pharaoh Black was selling um, most of his legends and um, had this guy for a decent price um, so I snatched him up because he already had the claws cut off which I already wanted to do and um, I want to do uh, a kit bash with uh, either this one or the um, one I got from Solid and um, use uh, the um, Wave 3 um, Return to Marvel. Oh, actually, I think was that Wave 1 of this year. I guess that was Wave 1 of this year, of 2013, uh, um, a.k.a. Wave 4 um, Wolverine from the um, X-Force because he's got those uh, removable claws and um, wanted to be able to swap out the head with any one of my other Wolverines. So, um, not sure how I'm going to do that kit bash, but um, stay tuned and you shall see. Speaking of kit bashing, I wanted to show off what I just created with a um, figure that you might have seen in um, my review of the Gen Yu figure from Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon. I got the uh, Expendables 2 Gunner Jensen from Diamond Select. Um, he is my base body for this crossbones that I put together. I hate to call it a custom because the only thing I did was paint the head and uh, swap it out. Um, so you can say it's a uh, uh, amateur's custom which is fine by me. Um, I would not call myself a expert customizer in any way. But uh, it's a great figure. I'm going to do a um, little video review after this, but uh, just wanted to show you um, that I got the figure. And uh, this head sculpt is a little small, but uh, I think it works really well. Um, you know, he's he looks just like Crossbones. He's got all the same gear, and he's the right size. I'll do a uh, in my little video um, after after this. I'm going to do. Um, I'll show the size comparison with uh, the actual Crossbones. But uh, in the meantime, there he is with Cap, and uh, yeah, he looks pretty scary. Alright, so hopefully you enjoyed the video, that you click on like, subscribe, share, and please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye.